Hi Virgo, so I'm here to do January's Generals. You're the first sign I've been able to say it in. Um, I've just taken half hour. I don't know if people watch my other videos, but they'll notice this side of my face drops sometimes. I did have a Bell's palsy attack in 2020. Um, I were under a lot of stress. So the after effects is when I'm tired, this side of my face kind of drops. So I took half hour out rehydrating and my face is back and I can speak again so I'm going to jump straight in with Virgo's energy I'm using the empowerment oracle deck which is my deck that I uh, published a couple of years ago now and I'm going to be clarifying with the angel oracle tarot so for Virgo Virgo energies this is so weird Taurus got this and Gemini have got add this tonight um so Taurus Gemini could be significant or you could have it in your um your natal chart, your moon rising or your Venus. Um so it's about peace and contentment, the happy home life. That's what you want. That's that's the end game. You just want peace and contentment. It could be renovations, it could be decorating, doing it's just about being peace and content with what you've got. Too many. So what's blocking or challenging this peace and contentment? Soul plexus. So trust in your intuition. So it looks like there's a block on your solar plexus, your intuition, you're doubting yourself. You're doubting your goals. Why is it coming around? Sacral chakra. So creativity. Sacral chakra is the chakra of creativity. It's but what do you want to create? Do you want to create like a family surrounding? Is that what you're trying? Are you trying for a baby? because uh, it is women's sexual organs energy as well. Um, but it's about creating life, creating your life, peace and contentment, happy home life. There's children playing on that card. I don't know why, but I feel like some of my Virgos are pregnant. I just got a sick feeling in my stomach. <laughs> so it could be like morning sickness as well. Or it could be coming in soon. So, recent past Mother Nature, I'm definitely picking up pregnancy energy in this reading for some of my virgos um so you could already be pregnant um or it's coming in i've got a sicky feeling mother nature's at play type of thing so recent past so some of my virgos could be trying or could be could have recently found out or could be very recently finding out like soon and um, if it's not that it's about you are feeling more grounded in your energy. You're ready to create new life, your new life. Like going through like a rebirth. If it's not to do with babies, this is definitely like a rebirth type energy. So at present, soul sisters. Oh, that's nice. So soul family, it doesn't matter sex. I, I drew this card because I was surrounded by soul sisters at the time when I was uh, designing the tarot. So it's based all family. So it's by getting out, probably out in nature, and there's a need to get out and see people. I know it's people are struggling with the isolation, uh, with these lockdowns and things like that. But it's still the need for that companionship, whether you you can do it online. I know I speak to my soul sisters online. Um, you know, but it's to, it's it's your soul family are keeping your vibes high at the minute. So it's it's nice. Nice energy, you know who you can trust. You've got you've got a nice little tribe going on. So it's it's nice energy. So near future, we've got the throat chakra. So you are going to be speaking your truth in some something or saying what you want, basically, asking for what you want. Um opening your throat chakra. I feel like you've been doubting yourself, and it's time to open the throat chakra and speak your truth. Your power in the situation is connection. So, but when I drew this card, it's about connecting to your higher self. So connecting to your spirit guides, connecting to your higher self, connecting to whatever you believe in, the divine, the creator, um, God, you, you know, um, I don't really use the word God, but it's about the connection with yourself. This is, this looks about, like it's about you. What's influencing? What's outside? Healing hands. So you're going through some kind of healing. Outside influence, so you could have been having Reiki or distant Reiki, distance Reiki, um, 
the outside influence is i feel like spirit you're going through like a, a spiritual healing so whilst you're sleeping and resting and things you're going through a healing yeah you know it could be someone a loved one in spirit that's bringing you healing it could be the energy from your soul family that's bringing you healing um, there's definitely something going on with your chakras um, healing. We've got throat, soul plexus and sacral up tonight. It's a very natural reading. It looks really good. It looks really nice. Hope Sophia's. Too many. Hope Sophia's. There we go. Crown chakra now. So you want to connect. So some of my Virgos are wanting to download. They're wanting to go through um more of an awakening maybe you're doubting yourself in that sense doubting your own gifts doubting your own you know what you're downloading um i feel like you doubt yourself and then it happens and you it's kind of like why did i doubt why did i doubt it i knew that i had that feeling you know it's that type of uh and then your outcome is my male guard which is elijah the mag passed down to my dad because i've always had mag passed since my dad passed um, but the magpie tells you secrets. I don't say the magpie is negative. I'm not superstitious at all. Um, I think if you're super, superstitious, you bring your negative energy on because you, you manifest it. You expect it to happen, so it comes. The universe gives it you. So, Elijah, so it looks like my Virgos are actually starting to awaken, uh, especially, especially if you are working in the esoteric field. Um, tarot, mediumship, um, reiki any healing shamanic you know you're definitely opening up your senses are quite heightened at the minute i can feel it because i feel like i'm vibrating inside um so there's definitely like a sensory upgrade um it's like you're going through a rebirth like you're creating a whole new life it's almost like i got i got blueprints in my head then so it's almost like the, it could be the blueprint of your life unless you've had a blueprint reading done uh, I had a blueprint reading done at the end of 2019. That opened my eyes quite a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, blueprint. It could be the bl blueprint of your life. Like you're stepping into the next blueprint of your life. Unless you you are designing your own house. <laughs> Unless there's some work work or like making blueprints of designing their, their own house. But let's have a look. So peace and contentment. Happy home life. So we've got the nine of fire. So, wounded warrior, carrying on, plodding on. So, it's like you've been grateful for where you've got, but your walls are still up a little bit. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. So, you're protecting you, you're protecting your children, you're protecting what you've created, especially with the lockdowns financially and things like that. So, you're protecting everything you've got. Soul plexus being your challenge. The queen of water. So, it's, it's the queen of cups. She is the most psychic of the tarot. So the challenge is to use this energy. It's it's to use this energy. It's it's the empathic energy. It's uh, trusting in your own intuition, caring to care for yourself and others. So the soul plexus is your intuition. That's where we feel everything. It's, it's your radar, isn't it? It's your uh... so the sacral chakra. Being why is it coming right now? We've got the eight of earth. Skilled work will be rewarded. Learn all there is to know about a topic. Going back to school. It's the karmic eight, and we are in the karmic eight now until 2028. So we're in a new eight karmic cycle. So it's about creating, whether it's creating new life or creating a new life for yourself. So recent past, Mother Nature, life experience, the towel moment. So you've been through the towel moments. They've, out, they've already happened. You've had a towel moment, but through this towel moment, you've grown. You've grown. So 2020 was a major they might as well just call it the tower year a significant life event a powerful revelation that led to change time to spread your wings so it's like you've had a wake-up call you know you need to move forward in life this tower moment has pushed you forward so now you've been surrounded by soul family so we've got the soul sisters card on top of that we've got the seven of earth seeds well planted temporary pause in action unnecessary worry so it's almost like you need to be around these people so that you know you're not worrying it's like they keep you grounded these the good people your soul tribe you, you know they keep you grounded in order for you to plant these seeds you know where you're going they know where you're going they can see your potential as well yeah the ten of air the end of a difficult situation embrace the change and expect things to get better now 
it can also be a recovery from any addictions you could be addicted to doubting yourself that looks of this but it looks like you've had a turbulent time we've had the, we've got the tower there and then now we've got seeds being planted you're just on a temporary pause so maybe you're meant to be on a temporary pause now whilst you put you know you get the ideas within the circle chakra the creativity um near future we've got the page of earth so we've got the throat chakra speaking the truth throat chakra is also linked with your ears so it's about listening receiving information page of earth good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study so i feel like um some of my virgos are going to actually step out and learn something new sign up do a course um it could be about going back to learning but it's a new area of study so maybe you're going to start studying something of the esoteric field you know it's uh clarify the page of earth for me four of water but it came out in reverse so no longer feeling the lack of something no longer missing feeling like you're missing out on an opportunity because you're going for the opportunities now so things are going to change you, it's like you're grabbing it jumping in with both feet yeah the eight of fire so in this deck it's usually about communication but the eight of fire events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things start to happen at once and i feel like you're manifesting a lot of things to come in and i'm feeling positive things seven of water so there's going to be options and decisions seven of cups it there's options you need to be weigh up your options and then you've got the magic number 11 we've got strength spiritual strength sign of leo great inner strength release harsh judgments forgiveness and compassion so you're going through a major healing especially after a big tower moment because you want peace and contentment you just want peace peace and quiet uh, you know and that's what you're willing to work for but it, it looks like you're striving forward and learning something new that is going to be like cha it's life changing the five of earth in reverse so unblocking unblocking yourself or unblocking someone else i can feel like you're unblocking yourself i'm not picking up uh, another energy i'm picking up more you're unblocking yourself so maybe because you've been hurt in the past you've blocked yourself from certain things so you might have blocked yourself if you haven't had the confidence to go and do the job that you want to do or um block yourself off from love if you you know i feel like you're unblocking yourself you know you you're releasing that harsh judgment on yourself and being able to go forward towards whatever it is you want so your power in the situation is the connection with your higher self ace of fire ace of wands so an exciting new opportunity a career advancement change your life now this is life changing that is it that is exactly what i was feeling when i was first reading it it's life changing so it's exciting new opportunities but you're bringing that in with connections so your power could be to get the right connections or to get connected so it's have a plug into the spirit world or uh it's it's the connections that you can bring in that so it could be love connections or it could be a connection to do with work you know like i connect with my guys i connect with my higher self it could be outwards connections so outside influence being healing hands Right, you've got three eights now, so I'll be looking at eight, eight, eight in your uh, angel numbers. A desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. There's definitely people around you that can help you grow spiritually and emotionally. I feel like there's, you can help them as well because that's the outside influence, healing hands. So it's like together you heal. So I'm picking up more friendships. It can still be soul brothers. I've got I've got soul brothers. Do you know what I mean? You, it doesn't matter the sex. You work together as a team. Everyone needs a tribe. So the crown chakra, we've got the free of fire abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long term plans. I am going to say for the Virgos that are trying for children, I do feel like it's it's coming in quite quickly. If you're not pregnant now, it's coming in quite quickly. I know the Empress hasn't come up, but I'm definitely picking up that vibe this um like wanting a child wanting to start something new um i even got a puppy in my head then so it could be like to baby you know to, i know like i call myself mum to my animals if my boar constrictor merlin I take him out at viv and i'm like come to mum <laughs> boar constrictor mum <laughs> <coughs> 
So a larger being your outcome is just as it's number eight. So you've got eight, 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 eight now. So check your angel numbers. Um, so we've got just as. So justice is on your side. It's about the scales of balance, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. I think it's do what you need to do for you. If there's a legal situation coming in, um, legal situation is going to work in your favour. Two of earth in reverse, so no more juggling. You know where you want to go. It's like you've made a life-changing decision. It's it's just about putting it into practice now and um, like putting the wheels in motion for it to come into fruition. But life-changing. I'm absolutely loving it. I want to get one more on that. Nine of air in reverse. So anxiety, putting yourself down, you know, any lack of confidence, any expecting the worst or anything like that, it's gone. It goes. It's it goes because justice is coming in. You could be dealing with Libra as well. You've got Libra and Edge. You could have Libra in your chart, but you're dealing with Elijah. So you're dealing with your own spirit guards. It's the divine masculine. So you could be a feminine bringing in your masculine energy, or you could be drawing in a masculine. It's time to draw in a masculine. Uh, but it is life changing. You you're making life changing decisions. So. It's looking really good. So definitely check 8888 angel number for yourselves. So I hope that message gets to the people who it needs to get to. And I shall see you all next week for the love readings. Okay. If you do like, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, when I hit the thousand mark, which I'm very near now, I am going to do bonus spreads for all star signs. Okay. Bye.